Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Every year I go to SHOT Show, I, I learn that the experience is the same. It's loud. It's crowded. You leave confused trying to take in everything that you experienced and saw. But the one thing that does change are the firearms that are offered. So I came up with 10 handguns that I want to check out. Many of these are new models. Some are not. But I want to check them out so that we can be wise in 2019 and spend our money well. The first one is the Rex Delta. Now, I love the Rex 01. I think Eric's Arms did a great job with the Delta. That is the gun that I hoped it would be, at least initially, because I, I checked it out. I love the mechanics of it. I like to disassemble. And the MSRP is under $500. So I don't think it's your average Wonder 9. I think it's a little more special. At least that's the way it hit me. I want to get this to the range. Uh, all of these I want to get to the range. You know, I, I, things can feel well, but until you actually shoot it and see how you feel with that is what's most important. Secondly is an EAA Witness. I like the Witness Match Pro. You know, now, uh, I did the compilation in 2017 of the best 9mm handguns and I didn't add an EAA witness. People are like, why didn't you add an EAA witness? Oh, you should have added an EAA witness. Well, I'm looking to do that compilation again, but I spent a little extra time at the EAA showcase it, it shot and I left very impressed. I'm going to try to get that gun and feature it and... I think it's going to make it to the 2019 compilation. I'm pretty confident with that. Steyr A2MF. You know, the one complaint with, with Steyr was the grip. You know, it didn't have aggressive texturing. They changed all that around. They added uh, additional back straps and interchangeable side panels, and they made the grip very textured. They also worked hard on getting aftermarket support, so if you could if you don't like the trapezoidal sights, you can change those out and so forth. The mechanics, the trigger, everything else is the same, which is good because there are no problems there. It's just that grip was revised and they did a great job with it. The Kimber Evo is another one. Now, that's a small subcompact 9mm handgun. It looks great and like Kimber, they have like 10 different models with crimson trace grips and these grips and this look to it. I want a basic Kimber Evo. Now, they stopped producing the Solo, the Kimber Solo, uh, two or three years ago. This is their answer to the Solo. Now, the Solo was ammo finicky. We'll see how this does. If I can get one, you know, or buy one or whatever, I will run various types of ammo to see how well that performs. Very small, very small and light. Nemo Arns came up with a very nice handgun called the Monarch. And I took a lot of heat for this because it's expensive. But you ever go to a gun store and, and you feel something that you didn't know existed and you, you check it out and you say, wow, this just hits home with me. That's how I felt with the Monarch. Now it's priced right around $1,200, but I look back to the Hudson H9. That was priced around $1,200 and it was flying off the shelves. Now I understand that we all have different budgets that we can work with, but it's not for everybody. The Hudson H9 is not for everybody, but this Monarch is really cool. I mean, it has, it, it to me, it makes the 226 look like a budget gun, and, but we'll see. We will see. I love the 226, but this Monarch sure felt, felt nice. Grand Power Q1S finally released. You know, I checked it out last year. I said, I have to get it. Now, the Q100, they just made it into the Q1S into a subcompact model of that. Love the rotating barrel, the lockup system, the trigger, everything about the Q100. The Q1S is the same thing, but smaller. I need to check that out. Huge Grand Power fan here. I don't think they get the recognition they deserve. Mossberg came up with their first handgun in years and years and years, and everybody was checking it out. I liked it. I, I kind of got the same feeling when I first checked out the shield many years ago. It felt nice. The trigger was nice. The disassemble's a little weird, but it, it seemed like a quality-made handgun. Have to get it to the range. I look forward to doing that with the MC1 subcompact. Taurus came out with a 22 called the TX-22. The MSRP is around $300. I think it's going to sell for around $200, maybe a little more at first. It's a suppressor ready 22 that holds 16 rounds and it's priced right. Now, we don't know what it's going to be like, you know, entirely, but I will say that the ergos on that are very nice and that's that holds true with a lot of the Taurus handguns, and the TX-22 is no different. The Sphinx 
FDP models is another one that people said, you need to check out Finks. You know, Finks is the best. Finks is the best. Well, and I'm committing myself for 2019 to check out a Finks. I've been wanting to do that. Uh, they're very expensive. You know, uh, you're looking at $800 to $1,000 for a Finks. And the people who have them love them. They say, this is the best. You're missing out. This is the best. So I will definitely be doing that this year. I really look forward to the SDP. And now the car PM9 Covert. You know, the Covert it has a full-size grip with a three-inch barrel and I'm looking forward to that because Mag Guts is making a spring kit for car handguns so it'll be actually eight rounds with the size of a PM9. I want to check that out as well being a cute huge car fan over here. So let's spend our money well this year. There are actually many more but those are the ten I wanted to to tell you that I'm going to really try to get into my hands feature here and hopefully you'll learn a little more about the 2019 models new models with the handguns offered if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe